Hello everyone. Today we begins with the phagocytosis. Phagocytosis simply in a layman language it is known as cell eating. And uh, whatever we are going through the physiological definition or physiological aspect it refer to the process of engulfment and destruction of solid particulate material by the cells. So phagocytosis simply it means cell eating but it uh, physiological means it's uh, referred to the process of engulfment and destruction of solid particulate material by the cells now the phagocytes cell performing this function these are the neutrophils monocytes and fixed tissue macrophages these three cells perform the function of phagocytosis history it is discovered by mackintoff by observation of intracellular digestion in flatworm. Steps of phagocytosis Before we progress to the different stages as well as phases or steps of phagocytosis, I just want to tell you that uh, for the physiology, this short note is the most important, even for the first internal as well as for finals. So now we are going to the through the each and every steps of phagocytosis. So first one is the margination, second one is the immigration and diapedesis, third one is the chemotaxis, fourth one is the opsonization, fifth one is the engulfment stage, sixth one is the degranulation stage, seventh is the killing or degradation stage. So these are the seven stages of phagocytosis. You must need to remember because this topic is most important not only for theoretical examination as well as for a viva voice this is the most important topic now first one is the margination if you remember that uh, the whenever the inside the blood vessel the cells which are flowing the cells flow in the center of the blood vessel so these if you, we are referring to this cell then the cells inside the blood vessel which runs in the center part of the blood vessel that means in the, that way and uh, on the peripheral part there will be the serum as well as all the uh, plasma material runs on this uh, peripheral part so margination in the first step the cells coming out of the central uh, running pool to towards the blood vessel see look at this cell First of all, it is in the central position inside the blood vessel. Later, it is uh, diverted and uh, this will be running towards the blood vessel. So, this is the blood vessel and uh, this cell running towards the blood vessel. So, this step is known as margination. Now, the second one is the diapedesis. Diapedesis means whenever the cell is coming out of the blood vessels in between the two cells of the blood vessel wall. So this stage is known as diapedesis. And yes, the stage number two also in includes the immigration and diapedesis. If you remember the term immigration means from one compartment to the another compartment, from one country to the another country. So that's how the cells, whenever they're coming out of the blood vessel, this process is known as diapedesis specifically and this uh, whole the entire stage is known as immigration and diapedesis. Now this stage number three is the chemotaxis. So this is the first stage, margination immigration and diapedesis so now the cell is inside the at the site of uh, uh, bacterial infection or wherever the uh, foreign material is present inside our body now this bacteria which releases different types of uh, substances which causes the inflammation of the local area and this cell going to attract towards the different types of chemicals which is released by this bacteria this stage is known as chemotaxis all right Fourth one is the opsonization. After the phagocyte cells which reaches towards the bacteria, complement or immunoglobulin which going to binds with this bacteria. So this is the green color portion is the bacteria. Whenever this a complement or a immunoglobulin going to binds with the bacteria, which means that this bacteria becomes tasty. 
for this phagocyte cell so that it will become easier to phagocyte the cells which having this uh, or which pass through the opsonization process or in other words these monocytes neutrophils and fixed tissue macrophages easily find the bacteria which coated with the opsonins opsonins and this process that's why this process is known as opsonization opsonins either the immunoglobulins or different type of complement proteins or complement system chemicals and once the opsonins bind to the bacteria this whole process is known as opsonization and yes this opsonization process increases the chances of this bacteria become caught by the different type of neutrophils monocytes and fixed tissue macrophages now the next one is the engulfment engulfment means uh, in entering of the bacteria inside the phagocyte cells so this is the microbe or bacterial particle whenever this bacterial particle or how this bacterial particle enter inside the phagocyte cell so this simply the phagocyte form the pseudopodia now here whatever the structure you are looking over here is this pseudopodia whenever this pseudopodia going to join then it will be the engulfment stage that means whenever this pseudopodia going to join the another portion of this then the bacteria become inside the cell so this process is known as engulfment now the next stage is the degranulation inside the phagocyte cell there are lysozymes which having the different type of digestive enzymes so these lysozymes whenever going to bind to this uh, bacteria containing pouches and, and releases their uh, enzymes or digestive enzyme inside this pouch then this stage is known as degranulation okay now the next one is the killing or degradation once the enzymes are released inside these pouches which contain the bacteria oh simply these pouches is known as phagosome so once this phagosome re received the different type of enzymes then this digestive enzyme going to kill the bacteria as well as degrade them so this stage is known as killing or degradation killing killing either it can be oxidative or non oxidative bactericidal mechanism here the bactericidal word means killing of the bacteria and another word is the bacteriostatic means stoppage of the growth of the bacteria so bactericidal means killing of the bacteria either by the oxidative bactericidal mechanism or non oxidative bactericidal mechanism inside the oxidative bactericidal mechanism either it can be myeloperoxidase mpo means myeloperoxidase dependent or myeloperoxidase independent so that is all about the phagocytosis and different type of steps as well as which type of event occur in individual step i hope you understood about this topic